Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another tutorial on Unity. Today we're going to see how to design a UI that can be fit into different screen sizes and different resolutions. Now when you're designing a game that can be played on multiple platforms, then you have to make sure that your UI should fit in different screen sizes. It should not happen that your UI should go out of screen or become invisible for certain size of devices and resolutions. So I have an empty scene here. So let's go ahead and add a UI button. And let's make it maybe height 50. OK. So in the scene view, this rectangle is the canvas. And this is my button. So all the UI is basically placed on the canvas. So depending on the canvas setting, it will scale based on your device size. Now, if we go to the game window, you can see the aspect ratio is free aspect. So if I switch to 16 is to nine, you can see the distance between the button and screen has reduced. So if I switch to the portrait mode, the button basically disappears from the screen. Now, I don't want this to be happening because my player who plays it in the portrait mode should also be able to see the button. So how do we make a UI that basically scales depending on the screen size and is usable for the player? So the first thing that you have to do is select a target aspect ratio. Unless you're designing a game that can be played both in landscape and in portrait mode, it's better to have a target aspect ratio and design your UI based on that. So let's say our game is landscape so let's select 16 is to 9 as the aspect ratio so this will be my base ui and once that is done select the canvas and you will see a component called canvas scaler and in the canvas scaler make sure ui scale mode is selected as scale with screen size okay and you can see that screen match mode is set to width or height by default and in the match set the value to 0.5 then go back to your scene view and if you select the button or the ui element you can see four rectangles here these are the anchor points make sure the anchor points are placed on the corner of the ui element so let's just select the anchor point and drag it here okay and this one here so this will make sure that the distance width from the screen is proportional to the screen size. So basically when the screen shrinks or expands, the distance will also change correspondingly and the button size will also be scaled accordingly. So after these settings, now let's go back to our game window. And now let's try to switch to the portrait mode. And you can see that the button has scaled and it's still inside the scene view. So now let's select the simulator. And let's try it out in different devices. So this is Apple iPhone 11. So if I go ahead and try LG G4, it looks the same. Now any new mobiles, maybe Google Pixel. Okay, okay, yeah, Pixel 5. Still good enough. Now uh, let's try any tablet. Okay, still good enough. So keeping this few simple things in mind can help you make a good UI that is basically responsive depending on your devices. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment box below and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.